Hey guys, what's going on? We're here with Tunshan and today we're testing out a new camera. Yay! So everything that you just saw in the intro was filmed on this tiny little guy. And this thing is pretty incredible. Mecha chichaine. Yeah. So this is the Insta360 GoTo camera. And this thing has a lot of interesting mounts and we're going to be testing out all of these today in today's video. I'm really excited to test out this camera, especially for all of our cycling videos for anyone new to the channel. My name's Cruz, this is Tunshan, and together we film cycling videos here in Japan. So we're always looking for new cameras to test out and this thing is awesome. So her camera is actually recording right now, so you should be able to see me here on the opposite side here. But you might be wondering how this camera is actually attached to her right now. So you don't see any mount on here. Normally when we film, we film with a chest mount, which is really obstructive. But this thing is just floating out here. This is actually connected by a magnet, just like that. So they have this really cool little necklace thing here, which is a magnet, and it just connects right on. Just like that. Easy peasy. So when we're walking around, yeah. we can have the camera on there. It's really discreet. It doesn't stand out. There's no extra harness that we need. So we're going to be testing out a whole bunch of different mounts today. So first I want to test this one just walking around. And we came out here today to Morikoro Park here in Nagoya, Japan. This is our local cycling course. So we're out here doing a few laps. I figured this was the best place to test it out. It's a little bit cloudy today, but that's okay. We should be able to get some nice shots here out in the sun, in the shade, and see what this camera's capable of. So Tunchan films a lot of walking videos, so we're especially curious to see yeah. <laughs> what the stabilization is like. Running. Yeah. <laughs> so there's the running test. It held up. I don't think these magnets are that strong, so they mentioned that you don't want to do something too crazy with this on. So just for walking, I think it should hold up with some decent stabilization, but we came here for the bike test. So let's get on the bike and test this out. Okay. All right, so we just did our first quick little test on the bike. So next, let's take a closer look at this camera body. This thing is tiny. I mean, like you can see my hand here, my fingers here. This thing is just crazy small. There's really nothing to this. It's just got the lens here in the front. It's got a light to let you know if it's on or if you're filming. And this is actually a button here. So if you push this, that'll turn the camera on. And on the back, we've got the magnet here. So this actually connects to another main body here. So this is the charging station and also the menu. So if you want to control the different settings here, you can see we're filming here on pro mode in 1440p. This does not film up to 4K, but it does film some different angle modes and different lens modes. So you've got wide mode, linear mode, and you can edit all of that in post processing. So you don't need to worry about what setting you're filming in. You can change that later for the lens anyway. And this just pops right in here like this. So it's all magnetized. Everything is built around that. And when it's in here, it'll charge it up. The other thing that's important to know about this is this does have 30 gigabytes of storage built into there. So that's one of the limitations on here if you're hoping to film some longer videos. The other cool thing on here is this tripod that's built into the stand. So this all just folds down like this and closes up like that. So it's completely sealed. It's a nice carrying case. We can put this in our backpack. We don't have to worry about damaging it and damaging the lens or anything. So you don't need any extra cases. It's charged here by USB-C and we've also got a camera mount here as well in case you want to hook this up to like a normal tripod. You can hook it up with it inside the case like this. And we've also got some other cool accessories here. This is one I'm really excited to try out. We can put this one on a hat. So let's have Tunchan put on her hat really quick. So you can see this mount here just clips onto a hat or anything small like this. It's just a little clip mount. And this is really convenient because you can put this on under your cycling helmet. This way we get the easy head mount. We don't have to worry about any helmet adapters or anything like that. Very cool. Toon's rocking the BMC hat. So let's try putting it in here. This case is also magnetized, so it just pops right in like that. And there we go. We've got a pro video recorder right here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And this is one I really want to test out on the bike. So I think we're going to try this mount out next. So let's get out on the road and let's try the next test. Let's go. Let's go. 
All right, here we go. I've got the cap mount on. Let's do the cap mount test. I'm curious, do my hands fit in here? And this is my bike today. I'm on Suikachan. We're rocking the solid airless red tires in here. And I'm curious just how well this works. Like this is lined up exactly where my eye is. So you should be getting the exact same view of what I'm looking at. But anyway, let's get on the bike. Let's test it out, ride a little bit. Let's go. Let's go. All right. And I'm really excited for this test. I've honestly like rarely done any helmet mount style tests. I don't really like the helmet mount because I, I find it a little bit too high, but this area is a little bit lower. It's exactly where the eye level is. So I'm hoping that this will look a little bit better. So as I'm turning around here, how's the stabilization on this? We're going under some trees here, under some canopy, it's a little darker. I think today it's gonna to be a really good test, all the different situations for this camera. By the way, for anyone new to this channel, this is the Morikoto Park cycling course. It's a dedicated cycling only course, about five kilometers. And it is empty here on the weekdays, a great place to ride. It gets a little crowded on the weekends with families though, but anyway, how's the camera performing? I believe we're allowed to edit this a little bit in the post edit. So we should be able to change this up, change the angles a little bit if it's not perfectly exactly the level that you need it at. But like as a commuting camera, I do a lot of bike commuting. I'm always looking for like the best bike commuting camera because like I think it's always important to have a camera going while you're doing your commute just in case you need the footage. And for me doing YouTube, I'm always interested in testing out new cameras to get different types of angles, different types of video. I think as long as I don't shake my head or do anything too crazy, in the event of a crash, I think because the magnets aren't super strong, I think it would fall out. But for general riding, just like this, I don't feel any insecurity with the camera. Let's do a little bit of a sprint. And it should be really stable. Your neck is basically a gimbal, so it should be really stable. Let's take a look back. There's two inch on. And that's something you can't do with the chest mount. With the chest mount, you're stuck with just the front angle. But with this, we should be able to get some different angles. Very cool. Here we are, we're on the red lines. And that's awesome. I can get all these different shots just basically by looking at exactly what I want to take a video of. All right, here's our next rest area. Let's stop here and test out a different mount. All right, let us know what you thought about the cycling cap clip mount. So far, I think it's done really good, but we'll have to wait until we check out the footage later. Okay, and for the next test, we can just pop it right off of the cap mount. So I'm holding it in my hands right now. It should continue filming. And this thing has leveling horizon, meaning however I rotate the camera in my hand, we should be able to still get the same level here. It's not gonna rotate at all. And let's pop this onto the chest magnetic mount. So right now I don't have the strap on, the chest strap or anything, but let's test out this magnet really quick on the riding here. Anyway, I'm just curious how this performs on a regular bike ride test. So let's try out this angle really quick. Let's go. Let's go. So Tunchan is going to lead the way again. And I am a little worried I don't want to drop the camera in case the, there's any bumps or anything. I think this magnet is decently strong, but I'm gonna be careful not to ride too aggressively or go over any bumps or anything, because I don't wanna drop this. So anyway, first let's start here riding more upright position. I think with this upright position, we should still be able to get some decent angles with this camera. So again, right now we're on the magnetic necklace. 
which is around my chest level. So I'm just riding here on top of the flat bars here of the road bike. But if I get in a more aggressive position, let's see how this handles. So I'm gonna get down a little bit more. This is a more aero kind of position. So my angle should be a lot lower now, which means you're probably looking more so towards my handlebars. But I think this camera does have the ability to change the angle a little bit in the post process. So let's see what kind of angle we get here, if this is usable or not. And oh, she's dropping me. Let's get in the drops. So now I'm really down. This camera's just pointing straight down. I don't think we're gonna get too much at this angle, unfortunately. But as long as I'm up here on the hoods, maybe we can salvage something. Oh, she's just crushing it right now. The great thing about this angle, so now I just picked it up, it's in my hand, so I can grab it quickly. I can get whatever kind of angle I want to get, which means we can get these cool shots like this. And this thing is tiny. It's like I don't even feel anything. Uh, she's in her heavy gear. So I think this is just the most exciting thing about this because I can change this from any position to whatever position. So here it's in my hand, here it's on the chest magnet. So we're hands free. And if I just pop it up to my helmet cap, now it's right, I got the bird's eye view and I can just move my head and film whatever I wanna film. So that is something that's impossible on any camera that I've used so far. With the GoPro, it always needs some kind of solid mount. With any action camera, it always needs a solid mount. And right now, what I'm doing is just ridiculous. I love the magnet sensor. It's really only possible with a camera this light because once you get to the heavier cameras, you're gonna need some crazy magnets and it's gonna be really noticeable. Right now, so far, just from a usability standpoint, I have to say the Helmet clip mount is by far my favorite. Oh, here we are, we're in a tunnel. Let's test out the, the low light, how it responds back to going outside. But yeah, the helmet clip is ridiculously easy. It's just awesome. I can, when I wanna talk about something, I can just look exactly at it. And if I take my helmet off, I still have my cap. So I can still use it while I'm walking around. If you're wearing just a baseball cap, you can use this walking around in public. So yeah, so it's really discreet, really lightweight. Awesome. This is Tung and I first time coming here in a couple weeks now. Do choshi wa? It is. It is. It's You're not tired? No. No? There we go, we finished the five kilometer mark. I think this helmet cap mount is by far the most convenient from the point of view of just using it. I don't need to think about it at all. I can just point my head in the direction of what I want to film and I can quickly grab it if I need to get a hand shot. And it's just awesome. You can't match this convenience. The only downside is this camera's battery life is really low and the storage is only 30 gigabytes. So it is a little bit limiting if you want to film longer videos, which is what we tend to do. But Anyway, I think that's it for today's test ride. We're gonna stop this video here for today. But anyway, let us know what you think about this camera. Do you guys like it? Give it a thumbs up. And we're gonna be filming some more long-term reviews with the camera coming up soon. So stay tuned and subscribe for more videos. And I'll leave the link down below with more information about this camera so you can check it out for yourself. That's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time here on Tivo Cruise. <laughs> <gasps> no. 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 I hope.